What's up guys, welcome to another video. Now today we're going to talk about how to activate beast mode on our Galaxy S23 Ultra. So today we don't care about battery or any of that, we just want to squeeze the most that we can out of our phone and get the best performance possible. And I'm gonna show you all of the settings you need to change to do just that. So let's get right into it. All right guys, now the very first thing we're gonna do is speed up the animation speed on our phone. And animation speed is what you see every time you open or switch between apps or just navigate around your phone. Every time your app opens or closes or switches, you see a little animation speed. So what we're gonna do is actually double that speed and that's going to make your phone feel a lot more quick. So to do that, we need to go to our phone settings, scroll down to about phone, tap on software information and where you see your build number, just tap on that seven times. It's gonna ask you for your pin. So put in your pin and now when you go to the main settings page at the very bottom you'll see a new option here that says developer options. So tap into here and then scroll down a little bit towards the bottom until you see something called window animation scale, transition animation scale and animator duration scale. You can see they're all set to 1x but we're going to change this to 0.5x so just go into all of these change them to 0.5x and now you're done. Now when you switch between apps or open or close apps you see that that animation is a little bit quicker and that's just going to make your phone feel a lot more snappy but you do still get that nice animation so your apps don't just pop onto your screen. Now you can turn off animations entirely and that will make your apps open up even quicker but I just don't think it looks as nice as having a short animation. So this is the best of both worlds. It's a little bit quicker than the default one but you still get that nice animation. All right the next thing we're going to do is go into our phone's settings, scroll down to battery and device care tap into here then tap on battery and then go down to more battery settings and in here you'll see this performance profile and make sure that you have this set to standard if you have this set to light it's just going to prioritize battery life over processing speeds and power so make sure you have this set to standard if you want to have the best performance at all times now this is a new feature that came out in one ui 5.1 so if you don't see this here just wait until your phone gets the updates Next, what we're gonna do is go back into our battery settings, go back into more battery settings and make sure that you have fast charging and fast wireless charging enabled. And I do think that the charging speeds on your phone contribute to the performance of your phone. If your phone has fast charging and you're able to utilize that, you should definitely enable that because that's going to improve the performance of your phone and squeeze the most out of all the available features that your phone has to offer. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is go back to our battery settings and scroll down a little bit and tap on auto optimization. And what you wanna do is enable this restart when needed. So what it will do is restart your phone when you're not using it, typically at night, and clear out all of your cache, clear out any bogged down processes, anything that's slowing down your phone or just isn't working as it's supposed to, and keep your phone running as smooth as possible. So definitely a great feature you should enable. All right, now the next thing we're gonna do to maximize our phone's performance is go into our display settings and then scroll down to screen resolution and make sure you set this to WQHD. This is only on the ultra phones. So if you have an S23 or S23 plus, you won't see this, but if you have an ultra phone, you'll see this WQHD option here. But by default, when you get your phone, it's set to full HD. So we want to set this to the maximum resolution possible. And that's going to make our display look absolutely beautiful. Samsung makes some of the best displays in the world and having this set to the maximum resolution is going to make everything look sharp and just really, really nice. So definitely go ahead and enable this. Next, what we're gonna do is go back into our display and then look for motion smoothness and make sure that you have this set to adaptive because this is going to allow your screen to refresh up to 120 hertz per second. And that's what's gonna give you that really smooth looking display, that really buttery smooth experience on your phone. If you have this set to standard, you can see that the maximum refresh rate you're gonna get is 60 hertz. And while that is better for battery, right now we don't care about battery, we just want the best experience. So setting it to adaptive is definitely the best option. All right guys, now that our display is looking nice and crisp, the next thing we're gonna do is improve the audio quality that comes out of the speakers on this phone. So what we're gonna do is go into settings, go to sound and vibration, and then go down to sound quality and effects. And in here, you'll see these two options that are disabled by default. You definitely wanna go ahead and enable these Dolby Atmos features because they are going to make the sound quality that comes out of your phone absolutely amazing. Especially if you wear earphones, you're definitely going to notice an improvement in sound quality. This thing is absolutely amazing. So definitely give this a try and let me know in the comments below if you noticed any difference in the sound quality on your phone. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is go into our phone's app drawer and then up here just search for your game launcher so if it doesn't show up there just type game and you'll see it pop up 
go into game launcher and then when you're in here tap on these three dots up here and then go to game booster and once you're in here scroll down to the section here that says game optimization tap into here and make sure that this is set to performance and this is going to prioritize performance when you're gaming and give you the best gaming experience possible again if you want to save battery you can always tap on that here but for the purpose of this video we're looking for the best performance and power that we can get out of our phone so definitely make sure that you have this set to, per to performance and you're going to get the best gaming experience on your phone and finally the last thing we're going to do to get the most performance out of our phone is go into our camera app and make sure that we are utilizing the best camera settings possible because these phones have amazing cameras but by default the camera app does not utilize those settings so if you're just opening up your camera and taking pictures and videos by default you're not getting the highest resolution or the most megapixels out of your photos so what you want to do is make sure you're in the photos section right here and then tap on this icon up here and you'll see an option between 50 megapixels and 200 megapixels so if you want to take photos with the highest megapixel available for the highest resolution you need to manually select one of these and then your phone will change to that setting. So if you want 200 or 50 megapixels, you need to change it yourself. And now you're taking pictures with that high megapixel count. The next thing you're going to do is go into your video and you can see that by default, the phone is set to full HD 30, but this phone can do so much more than that. So if you tap on here, you can see we have all these options for 4K and even 8K up here. So if you want to take 4K or 8K video, you need to select that yourself. So if you want 8K video, just go ahead and select that. And now you're shooting for the best available quality video that this phone has to offer. So there you go, guys. Those are some of the settings that you can change to get the most out of your phone and squeeze the best possible performance out of your S23 Ultra. Let me know in the comments below if you know of any other cool tips and tricks to get the most out of your phone. But for now, that's going to do it for this video. Be sure to like if you liked, subscribe for future videos to come, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.